hello friends welcome to tutorials point in this tutorial we will discuss about SAP HANA architecture so SAP HANA system consists of multiple components that are responsible to emphasize the computing power of SAP HANA so we can see here in this diagram that this is a distributed architecture where we have multiple nodes so we can see here that first of all we have the first node where we have its own index server, preprocessor, name server, statistic server and other things. Similarly we have the node 2 which again have all these components and similarly we have n number of nodes. So this is typical distributed architecture. So most important component of SAP HANA is my index server which contains the SQL or the MDX processor to handle the query statements for the database. HANA system contains then after that we have the name server, we have the preprocessor server, we have the statistic server and we have the access engine which is used to communicate and hold the small web applications and various other components. So let's discuss one by one each one of them. So first of all we have the index server. So my index server is a server which holds the actual data and the engines for processing the data. So when any SQL or MDX is fired against the SAP HANA system in the case of authenticated sessions and transactions, an index server take care of these commands and process them. After that we have the processor server which is my so uh, my processor server it comes into the picture during the text data analysis. So index server use the capability of the preprocessor server in text data analysis and searching. This helps to extract the information on which the text search capabilities are based upon. After that we have the named server. So my named server it is basically the server which holds the complete information about the system landscape. My name server is responsible for the topology of the SAP HANA system. In a distributed system, SAP HANA instances will be running on multiple hosts. And in this kind of setup, the name server knows where the components are running and how the data is spread on different servers. After that, we have the statistic server. So, statistic server will help you know the health of the SAP HANA system. So, the statistic server is responsible for collecting the data related to status, resource allocation, consumption and the performance of SAP HANA system. It also helps to provide the history of the measured data for analysis. Then we also have the access engine. So my access engine, it will allow the external applications to access SAP HANA system via the access engine clients. It will allow the UI5 based applications to use SAP HANA via HTTP or HTTPS or other protocols. So my access engine, it comes into picture when we have the applications running on SAP HANA. After that, we have the SAP host agent. So my SAP host agent should be installed on all the machines that are related to the SAP landscape. It is used by the software update manager for automatic updates. Then we have the LM structure. So my LM structure for SAP HANA, it contains the information about the current installation details. This information will be used by the software update manager during the up automatic updates. Then we have the SAP Solution Manager Diagnostic Agent. So this agent will provide all the data to SAP Solution Manager to monitor the SAP HANA system. When we integrate SAP Solman with the SAP HANA system, this agent provides the information about the database at a glance which includes the database state, general information and also the configuration details. Then we have the SAP HANA Studio GUI Plus Repository. So my SAP HANA Studio GUI is basically responsible uh, using which we can create the modeling views, we can administration, uh, we can do the administration of the system 
and then we have the repository so my SAP HANA repository this will help the end users to update the SAP HANA studio to higher versions so the SAP HANA studio repository is the code that does this process then we have the software update update manager for SAP HANA so this helps in the automatic update of SAP HANA from SAP marketplace SAP marketplace it is used for the software downloads license key request customer messages SAP notes so it will allow the distribution of HANA studio repository to the end user so all these are my major components of SAP HANA architecture and out of these my index server is the main server which we will be using for the SQL and the MDX processing so now let's go to the system and see how we can see all these servers in my HANA studio so this is my SAP HANA studio now if if I go to the administration here so it will open up the overview of the SAP HANA system to which I am connected to right now if I go to the landscape here so I will be able to see the different servers which we just discussed like the index server name server preprocessor access engine so all these are the components which get installed when we install SAP HANA system so in this session we have discussed about SAP HANA architecture and we have seen which all are the important servers which exist in SAP HANA like index server name server preprocessor access engine then what is the SAP host agent what is LM structure after that we have discussed about SAP solution manager diagnostic agent studio repository and the software update manager for SAP HANA. Thank you.